my uncle, he was, you know, a Korean, I didn't know he was a Korean War survivor, but he was a soldier, he came home, and he was had a, an excellent car, and I, I was so proud of him, I was extremely proud of him. I still am, I'm happy to see that he survived, he's raised a wonderful family, providing an excellent uh, reference for me, of having, not having a father, but I've had great uncles to be examiners, and I also, uh, something else I wanted to mention about it. I remember, I remember as a kid, my mother going to a, a drugstore in Ardmore, Oklahoma, picked out a watch. His watch was sent to him in Korea. When he came home, he said the watch allowed him to come home to help him survive. Mm -hmm. I picked that watch out again. I can I remember him today telling me about he, he mentioned it at one time. I didn't know what it meant to him, but I guess having survived Korea when when you think about the things that he'd gone through and then this this something that had tied him to his family. This something that had provided him with the will to survive some something so atrocious as the Korean War. So we're lucky to have him. I'm proud to say he's my uncle and Happy birthday. I can remember back to a day, back to that car that we were talking about, that uh, 49 Ford. Remember when he first drove it home? And I think it was raining that day, and it was muddy, and the car had gotten all dirty. And I looked at that big car, and I said, that car is dirty. I think I need to go out there and wash it. So I didn't know anything about washing a car, so I went there and got a bucket of water and an old rag. I got about halfway through it, and he said, boy, you're messing up my car. <laughs> Rocks <laughs> and gravel <laughs> and the whole thing. But putting that all aside, it's just the, the, the pleasure of, of uh, being here today. We have him honored this 80th birthday. Um, I also go back to one other thing. Remember when I first started to leave home? And he said, Son, what you want to do is go and find you a nice family, a religious family somewhere. And say so stay out of the the, uh, the ghettos and watch the people that you deal with, and say so kind of take care of yourself. And I look back at him and honor him for say pointing me in the right direction. And I really love it. No, 
the one that had to discipline me after that. I knew, I knew what was going to happen. Um, well, I love you, Papa Lamb. And I love this head, too. Preachers, I'll make it short. I'm Johnny Marsh. Brother Robinson, Sister Robinson is like a sister and brother to me. When she goes out of town, he's a lonely. I call him and ask him how's he doing, that he need anything. So I want to let you know that you almost catch up with me. But you'll get there if you keep on living. And I'm just glad you made the 80s. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. And, uh, well, I'm not much of a talker, <laughs> but uh, now it's 14 of us, and I hope to have to be no more, and I thank you all again. Oh. 